Okay, I'm back with another Christmas battle. I've been uh, off for a couple of days because I've been quite ill, so I've uh, not been up to battling. Okay, so I've got this battle on Team Equinox track because no one else wanted one. So uh, this guy leads with um, Salamance and I lead with the Snowman as usual. And uh, he switches, predicting the obvious move, which I just go for because I couldn't really think what can I do otherwise. Like, what else? What other options have I got? Um, so he brings in his empire, and then I get a crit on the blizzard, which does de like nothing overall. Uh, he goes for an agility, and uh, and then I go for an energy ball, and uh, he goes for an ice beam, which gets me down most of my health, and I go just for another blizzard, which will KO the empire. So, the Empoleon's down and he, he was just trying to, I think he kind of cut that up, but yeah, anyway, he brought in his mill tank and just goes to the seismic toss to finish off my bonus now, which I wasn't really bothered about, it's just, uh, yeah, he just took it down, it's di it did what it needed to do and he didn't have any other weather effects on his team, so it didn't matter. Uh, I bring in sort of Wudu, but he uh, thunder waves me, which doesn't ma matter because he actually outsped me anyway, which is like, what? Well, hold on, why is this thing outspeeding me? Which was a bit confusing really. Yeah. Um, so he goes for a, a, uh, a seismic toss after I'd earthquaked him and then go for a wood hammer this time, just seeing which one does more. I decide I'm not going to carry this thing easily, so why not just blow up? So he goes for the milk drink and heals back quite a bit of his health. But in the end it's useless because I just decide to explode. <laughs> fun, 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 fun. Can't have Christmas without a big explosion. Whether it be wrapping paper or your Christmas tree. Always fun. Unless it ruins Christmas then, then it's a bit bad. But otherwise, fun. <laughs> So he brings back in his Salamence and I go into Chimeco at the same time. Uh, he sets up a substitute and I just go for Psychic. And I was like, wait, what? Oh, who the hell carries substitute on a Salamence? Who has a lead Salamence other than Maryland? And what the fuck does Maryland know? So yeah, um, my Psychic broke the sub, which I was pleased about. So I knew that it was going to do something to him. But he switches to a is that a lunar tone? That's a, yeah, that's a lunar tone, isn't it? That's what we call them. Yeah, so what's the other one, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, and my psychic does pretty much nothing to it. So we've got all the hail and leftovers, and oh my god. Yeah, he goes for cosmic power, which gets his defense, his special defense up. I'm like, oh my god, no, please no. We go for the shadow ball, and that does nothing at all. It's like, oh god. I am so dead. I'm just going to get stalled out here now. Uh, but So I decide to switch, knowing that it's not going to do anything. He goes for another cosmic power on the switch. Uh, so I decide to think here I uh, here I go for the blizzard. Uh, it doesn't quite get... it well, actually does nothing. Uh, and then he bat and passes to a Rotom, and I'm just thinking, F I can't do anything. Absolutely nothing I can do to this. It's like, oh crap. Uh, so bring in Chimeco, sort of just a hat to switch because Delibird and uh, and Discharge don't mix. And uh, but uh, Chimeco took it quite well, apart from getting the Parahax, which, like, what the hell? This thing gets Parahax every single battle. Why? Um, and then I forgot that Rotom had Shadow Ball for some reason. Um, I don't know why or how I managed to forget that. <laughs> um, so he takes on with Chimeco, and I'm starting to run out of ideas. So I bring in Stantler this time. And he goes for Will O' Wisp. So I've now scattered, well, found out three of his moves, and I know that if I stay in, obviously he's not going to try and burn me again, so I've got a better chance of 
uh, sucker punch working. I went for the hypnosis before, and then you wait for protect afterwards, which protects the sucker punch. So now that he, I know he's not going to protect this turn, and he's not going to burn me, I can sucker punch him safely and know that he's pretty much going to get hit, or he's going to switch and lose his uh, double defense and special defense boost, which is good. And then he goes for the discharge, which takes down uh, Rudolph. Uh, despite the fact that my sucker punch, not a lot really. Um, I was kind of disappointed. So I brought in uh, Santa, went for the blizzard, which got him down into sort of more orange range. Uh, he goes for discharge, discharge, which KOs Santa. So I'm down to my last one, which I think, yeah, yeah, I think it's down to my last one. Yeah, uh, my Christmas star. Which is Starmie, and I go for Blizzard, and uh, that finally carries the the rot on. Shell's quite pleased about finally getting into that, um, and this is pretty much a good game here because I go for Blizzard again, and it um, gets a crit on the Leafy on, and at this point he then brings in his Salamance and then decides to run. Um, he was like, "What the hell? Why do you have got so many Life Orb users?" and uh, be honest, I don't know. Fun, just offensive, really. Um, yeah, he was saying like cheap stuff in the end wins, but he was going serious, I was going fun, so I didn't think it was, it was that cheap. So good game anyway. Uh, thanks. Rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.